Hey guys, uh, today we're going to shoot some videos. Fritz is coming over. We're going to shoot a series. Uh, it's going to be on recovery. It's going to be on vacuum and some tools. This particular video is going to be on recovery. Uh, I bought the Apion Megaflow kit. It's got the 3 8 hoses throughout. And I just want to compare them with the quarter inch hoses, see if there's really a speed difference. Uh, let's, let's see what it is. Okay, y'all, we're getting set up. Uh... Ed's got his uh, JB Eliminator out, and we got the Apion G5 out. He actually went up and got him another T for his uh, Eliminator here. It's a 3 8 uh, 3 8 T for vacuum. Um, we're going to actually pull the tank into a vacuum so we can uh, do some recovery here. So uh, this is what you got to do on a new tank. Hey, y'all, Eddie's got uh, the tank under vacuum, and now we're getting ready to proceed. So let us uh, get everything hooked up here. Uh, on his uh, infinity uh, unit here, and uh, we'll get after it. Looks like he's got king valves on this baby. He's king valves to us, Eddie. All right, all the way up is pretty much it's open. It lets the freon flow through your tubing. Okay, so you're back seated. Uh -huh. When you're wanting to check your pressures, you just crank it in a couple times. Okay, and it opens it up. It opens it up, and you can see it on checking your freon. Okay. If you're going to pump down the system these kind of valves you'll screw this one all the way down this okay. liquid line all the way down okay you'll just crank that one down about halfway watch your gauge when it hits the zero then you just crank it all the way down okay groovy and then it locks it into the compressor okay that's a that's a really great example right there on uh, how to operate a king okay, valve we're hooking everything up to eddie's Appion. we're going to do our first recovery here this is uh, all we, quarter inch. Everything's quarter inch on here, and we've got a cold tank here that we've just pulled into a vacuum. I actually bought this gauge. Oh, that's neat, dude. To be able to keep up with the pressures. So we'll be able to know how hot the tank is getting. Eddie, you are on it, buddy. I'll do some drill testing today. What'd that thing set you back? About 25 bucks altogether. I'm gonna have to get you to write down everything that you got so I can uh, get my gear. <laughs> All right, so we just pulled it into a vacuum. As it opened, it sucked it back, so. Absolutely, okay. All right, let's open, open. Uh, you got your, uh, you got your timer. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if y'all seen enough of these videos, you know I suck at this. Well, you taught me how to use it now, so. Alright, so we're going to reset. Okay. Three, two. Hold on one second. Let me make sure we're recording here. Okay. Alright. Ready when you are. Go. Keep them in the box. They're meant to be used. We okay. didn't like to recover them from a tank to a tank idea, so I said, screw it, let's just go home, go to my house, and do my air conditioner. I don't even care. <laughs> we're, going see what this, we're going to see what these recovery hoses do. It's going to be too cool, man. We're going to hope so. It's going to work. I know it is. Every time I do these tests, I get upset. <laughs> what it was, he got tired of coming to my house, and uh, every time we do something, it kind of go bad. But we finally got the vacuum down to a science, so now we're going to get our recovery down. So it'll you know, work out. That tank's up to about 80 degrees right now. It's 
filming about, what do you think it is out here right now? 75 degrees out here right now? Yeah, something like that. That's a good idea on that gauge. Okay, y'all, uh, uh, we're almost to the two and a half minute mark. I'll, uh, I'll get back with you here in just a couple more minutes. That is, uh, G5 is pulling it down, guys. Uh-oh. We're at the uh, four minute mark here, and we're down to uh, 46 PSI. What are we reading on your gauge down there, Eddie? Is it heating up? We're at 100 degrees right now. Okay. That's pretty cool, man. How many pounds of refrigerant do you have in your Infinity here? Walk in front of you. 8.8 .8 pounds, right at 9 pounds. Okay, so we're gonna we're right at 9 pounds, and uh, we, we're not even 5 minutes into it yet, and we're already down to uh, 40 uh, PSI here. So, uh, I'll tell you how prepared we are. I do have gauge uh, scales. We just didn't set the thing on it. Okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll do that on the... Uh, on the next part of it. Okay guys, I'll get right back with you. Alright y'all, we're done. Doing pretty good here. What's your temperature now? About 115 degrees, uh, about 105 degrees right now. Okay, we're at, uh, we're at eight minutes now. So, uh, looking pretty good here. I think we might get it within 12 minutes. Okay, y'all, we're almost there. We're at two pounds. We're at 10 minutes. I think we're going to get it within uh, 11 minutes. There we go. We're done. 10 minutes time. We got her. All right, y'all. We get everything shut down here and uh, sealed off. And uh, as soon as Eddie gets back, we'll uh, write up everything down and we'll... Uh, We'll uh, shoot you a little more video on this. I think it's outstanding that he's uh, doing this for us. Sorry about that, brother. I didn't stop the daggone time clock, but it was like 10, 10, 10, 3, something like that. I mean, we're not going to split hairs on it. Uh, quarter inch hoses, and uh, we recovered, what'd you say, right at nine pounds of refrigerant. on that better. I only got one job. <laughs> okay y'all we're weighing her back in. Okay y'all uh, Eddie's getting the recovery machine hooked back up again. We didn't think y'all would want to I'm sure everybody's seen a million times weighing refrigerant back into a unit so basically all we did was flip the can over and uh, put the refrigerant back into the unit and uh, now we're ready to pull uh, recovery. So he's getting his mega flow hooked up here and uh, we've got our gauge back on our, uh, our tank and we're getting ready to rock. So if you're recovering, you want to get these uh, depressors out of there and just get you some needle nose and just kind of turn it a couple times and they just popped right on off there. Cool means. You want that to be a free flowing. All right. We're ready to rock, guys. Okay, so we got our 3 8 hoses hooked up. This is going to be the configuration now. We've got three eighths on one end, quarter inch on the other end. Uh, got three eighths from my middle line going a quarter inch into the machine. And I got a quarter inch coming out of the machine, quarter inch going to the tank. All hoses are three eighths. Okay, and we've got our uh, Inficon zeroed out here. So I guess ready whenever you're ready to rock, buddy. See what she does. Okay, y'all, we're, uh, we're ready to fire up. Make sure all my hoses are tight. We're gonna open, open. Okay, we're rolling, baby. Eddie's got everything open, got his new 3 8 hoses on. This should uh, show us a heck of a difference here. This is real world simulation. 
Can you put your uh, mega flows up there where we can see them too, Ed? Okay. All right, y'all. It's going to be a few minutes. Hopefully, we can do this in about. I don't know what did this other one take us, Eddie? Eleven minutes. Eleven minutes. Now, of course, we're pulling on that tank too. We're we're going to simulate with that new uh, transducer doodah he bought, molecular, whatever you call it, <laughs> CPS unit. Thank you. 90 degrees right now. 90 degrees. This is already warm. All right, y'all. We'll get back with you in just a few minutes. All right, y'all. We're at three minutes. Four pounds. We're down to 60. If you remember last time, we kind of hit a we kind of hit a hard spot when we got to 40 there. But. Uh, that she seems to be pulling out great, dude. We need to get to a negative. Uh, negative. negative five. Negative five is what we're shooting for, guys. And that's when I say we're done. Twenty pounds of oh. it. We're at four point eight. We're down to twenty now, and we're at uh, five minutes, guys. This is uh significant difference now we're going to shoot to that negative five here oh yeah man this is night and day okay y'all we're, uh, we're looking pretty good what's the heat on that tank now eddie 112 Okay, we're almost down to zero. Eddie said he doesn't really run this. If this here is for this back room here, and he doesn't really what Brian had it running in a year or two, or yeah, it don't run very much. So it's a good unit to practice on. I think uh, he might just be a hair low, but uh, this is going to really tell us exactly what we got in her. Uh, we're almost, like I said, we're almost to zero now. We're at seven minutes. We're, we're going to try to go to negative five. We're looking at five pounds of refrigerant right now. All right, guys. We're pretty much at zero now with uh, Eddie's Mega Flow. We're at uh, eight minutes and almost nine minutes. The quarter took us 11.36, but the tank was cold and everything, so I'm thinking that's going to be a little bit of a difference. Uh, we're going to try this uh, ProSet MT69 here in just a minute, but uh, we're wanting to hit negative, 50, negative 5 by 11.36. What's the heat on that tank, Eddie? We're probably about a negative 5 now, I would say. 112 degrees. 112 degrees. So we'll go ahead and stop it. Okay, we'll stop it now. So it was about two minutes quicker on three eighths hoses. You know, take it for what it's worth. It's okay. here on video. <laughs> uh, now we're going to try this little other little. <laughs> the molecular transformator from CPS. Uh, we're going to give us a shot. It's supposed to keep it what in liquid form. It's supposed to keep it in liquid form. And it's supposed to say up to 95% increase in recovery time. So what's that mean? We just did what nine, uh, ten minutes basically. So we ought to be able to what? Recover in five? I doubt that's going to happen. We're going to <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's fill her back up again, and uh, we're, we're, we're going to get after it. We're going to pull back. In. Okay. All right, guys. I wanted to show you what cord I was using for the recovery machine. This is heavy duty, uh, ten gauge extension cord. Uh, Y'all like my shoes? They're Vibram Fab Toes. <laughs> uh, just to show you, we're getting 122 volts out of the uh, end of my extension cord. 123 volts. So my voltage is good, guys. Voltage is good. Thank you. All sir. right, guys. Thanks for taking time to watch these videos. Uh, you know, we demonstrated that the 3/8 is really not that much quicker for quarter inch. Uh, 
not residential anyways maybe on commercial for pulling 20 30 pounds it might be a little different uh, but for residential uh, I guess a couple minutes is a couple minutes uh, but anyways leave comments again thanks for watching